Hello again, fellow Gears. <laughs> What's up? It's Maticon bringing you another Gears 5 video. This one is on completing tasks in between waves while the wave scoreboard is up. And we're going to jump right into this one. Here we go. So after completing a wave and the scoreboard comes up, you can run or leap over cover by pressing the A button as normal. However, sometimes you'll get this red rectangular box on the list of names on the scoreboard. And when this occurs, whenever you press or hold down the A button to run or try and leap over cover, it does not work like it does when the red rectangle box is not there. Now, this is the part where some players may not know that the solution to this is to scroll down the scoreboard to your highlighted gamer tag. And once you are on your gamer tag, you can then press the A button to run and or leap over cover or objects as you normally would. And using this method is a great way to be even more efficient in between waves on your run. Yay! And of course, there are other tasks that you can complete with the scoreboard up in between waves and horde. Some examples are picking up and depositing power in the fabricator, collecting power from the power taps themselves, as well as dropping or switching weapons on the ground and even more tasks that aren't being covered specifically in this video. But with all that said, that wraps up this completing tasks in between waves quick guide. And as always, enjoyed everybody. Thank you.